Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to thank you so, so much for 100 plus subscribers. I wanted to come on here today and show you guys how I make my holographic stickers, as that's been my number one question so far. This is not the only video on this topic, and there are so many other ways to do it, so this is just how I personally do it. So I've tried two types of lamination in my experience, the thermal lamination and the self-adhesive on the right. I've seen a lot of videos on how people use this thermal, so I just wanted to make you aware of what exactly it was, but I'll be doing this tutorial on the self-adhesive. My top question of all time is where do I buy this? I get it off an Etsy seller, and I just search off self-adhesive holographic film, and you can also get it off of AliExpress or, you know, tons of different places. You can get it by the sheet or like in a huge roll, I also have like an enormous roll now, so that's better if you buy it in bulk for sure. It also comes in tons of different patterns too, so you don't have to get the star, you can get tons of other options. The sticker paper that I use is the Weatherproof Matte from Online Labels. I've tried to use the glossy paper, but it does not work with the holographic film. It makes all these air bubbles and you have to use matte in my experience. So this is the trickiest part, is actually applying the film. Once you get it on the mat, it's actually best to use a clean mat because it's smoother and it's just a little easier to smooth the film, but you can use whatever. I do it with or without a clean mat sometimes. The thing that people usually struggle with and what I usually struggle with is that you have to measure the holographic film within the border so that the Cricut can read the marks. So I measure my film within the borders and I put a little line in the middle so that it's a little easier to line up. And you kind of just have to go for it. Just try to be as steady as possible and line up with that little line and just smooth it out slowly. I always just use my arm or something. People have fancy little felt squeegees that you can use too. Also, when you're smoothing, try to smooth outwards so that if there are any air bubbles, they're going to move out of the image rather than in the middle of your sticker. If you tilt it and kind of get a glare on the paper, then you can spot any more air bubbles and just smooth them out with your thumb or your finger. You have to be kind of hard, but just make sure they're not on the actual sticker. Once you have everything smoothed out, you can send it to the Cricut. I do it on the cardstock plus setting and it's perfect. It only goes through once. Keep an eye on it at the beginning to make sure it's reading the sensor marks and if it does, then you're good to go. And here is how they turned out. I'm really, really happy with them. I really hope this was helpful for you guys, and I have another studio vlog coming out in the next few days. This is probably the shortest video I'll ever film, but I really wanted to get this out because I've been getting so many questions about it. And I remember when I was trying to figure this out, I just wanted a video that would get straight to the point, tell me where to buy it, tell me how to do it. So I hope this is that video for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next studio vlog. Thank you so much. Bye.